STARS HAS BEEN OPERATING IN ALBERTA AIRSPACE FOR 30 YEARS NOW. THIS YEAR, ECONOMICS IS CAUSING SOME HEAVY TURBULENCE. And LIKE OTHER ORGANIZATIONS, WE'RE CUTTING BACK IN AREAS THAT WE CAN, BUT WE OBVIOUSLY DON'T CUT BACK IN THE ESSENTIAL SERVICE OF OUR PILOTS AND AIR MEDICAL CREW AND, and MEETING THE NEEDS OF THE PATIENTS. REBECCA FILLINGER OF ROCKY HAS USED STARS NOT ONCE, BUT TWICE. ONCE WHEN SHE WAS PREGNANT, ANOTHER TIME WHEN THAT SAME CHILD FELL INTO A FIRE PIT. If you had spoken to me three years ago and said we would, I would be like, no, you know, because you see them fly and you always think it's some horrible wreck or something. I was pregnant and I just didn't feel good. And how quickly I went from laughing with my family and friends to being in a helicopter fighting for my life. Her family is well aware of what stars can do in a time of desperate need. How do you put a price on, on your loved ones? Sorry, I get emotional. But yeah, if it wasn't for him, you know, being in Rocky Mountain House, it's a two hour ambulance drive. My blood pressure was barely registering. I probably wouldn't have made it. If I died, he would have died. No matter where you are in Alberta, stars could play a role in your world. They are a lifeline, especially out in rural communities and like places like Red Deer where you need to get to the city centers for specialized emergency care that we don't have here. The Stars Lottery is normally sold out at this point of the year, so they're asking Albertans to dig deep in these tough times. I know it's economic downturn in the province, but emergencies don't wait. And if you need them, they'll be there. And you want them there. It could be your loved one. For Go, I'm Jim Claggett.